Frankie Frisbee. <laughs> and I've come here tonight with my, my new singing group. And it's been my pleasure for the last eight years. <laughs> They say you go blind, but... <laughs> I'll risk one eye. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> and I'd like to introduce now a mixed choir of dress designers. <laughs> ladies' hairdressers. And, of course, a toilet attendant. <laughs> And tonight we're, we're going to do some <laughs> musical gems from our new LP. Uh, it's just recorded on her uh, master's voice. <laughs> and we have such wonderful golden oldies, such as um, Give Me Some Men Who Are Stout-Hearted Men. And uh, <laughs> Poof! The magic drags on. <laughs> And, of course, my own favourite, a Gordon for me. <laughs> right, men, after four. Four! <laughs> follow, follow, follow the many, many pipes of pan. In places gay, we work all day, so catch us if you can. Oh! your locks and make your frocks like any working man and then we frolic every night Ooh, the men in the night of so I went down south to see my friend singing Sing polly wally doodle all the day he works on the council in South End. Very well, very well, very well, very well, very well, my very friends. Cause I'm gonna spend the summer with the Edinburgh plumber. Very well, very well, very day. Bobby Shafto's gone to sea. Helen Sailor, are you free? There's a toast of the Queen's Navy. Bona Bobby Shafto. <laughs> Is on the front of male physique. That's a magazine that comes out every week. When I see his hairy chest, I've simply got to shriek, cos I help him stick it on. <laughs> glory, glory, hallelujah. Cast aspersions and a fool. <laughs> now we really sucked it to ya, and we must go trolling on. Pleasure bent lots and the Queen's all stoked on trend lots appearing with the
just so much It hurts me so to know your heart's a treasure That my heart is forbidden to touch oh, But your sweet lips close to my lips And you tell me that's where they're going to stay Would you like to have a <laughs> naughty boy? <laughs> Would you like a suck of the lolly? <laughs> Would you like a suck of this lolly? <laughs> well, put that away. Would you like to go walkies? <laughs> Would you like go walkies? <laughs> 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 
Would you like to get out of your pram? <laughs> Feet up. Tippies. Elvis is a very famous singer. He dances, sings, and moves his feet around. Now behave yourself. Too far to show. <laughs> it's really getting ready. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, myself and my penis now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we would like now to do an opera in C minor, ninth movement. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, sir. I fell off. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the opera. Thank you. Today I went, I went, today, today, today I went. <laughs> I went to the butchers. <laughs> I went to the butchers. I went to the butchers to buy some bacon. <laughs> I said to the lady behind the counter, do you sell bacon? <laughs> she said, lean back. <laughs> I said, do you sell any bacon? <laughs> she says, we have not got any here, but we have some sausages. I said, give me 12 pounds of sausages. But I had no bags to put the sausages in. So I shoved the sausages down my shirt. <laughs> then I got on a bus to go home. Then this lady got on the bus and sat down opposite me. She looked at me. <laughs> I looked at her. <laughs> we simply did not have a car. Until the bus went over some cobble <laughs> And all these sausages were shaking up and down And one of these sausages flopped out <laughs> It was swinging to and fro Up and down, 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 up and down. <laughs> So I got my pen knife out. <laughs> and cut it off. <laughs> and she fainted. A bit further on, another sausage popped out. So I got my pen knife out and cut that off. Then I fainted. <laughs> Thank you. The mic, where's the mic stand? The mic stand. What? Um, fancy sing song? Go on then. Take this up, this up. I want to get the mic stand from underneath. Thank you. Lift it up, please. Thank you. Little man. 
Gentlemen, I fitted out with a new hearing aid. Good morning. How are you getting on with it? Uh, good morning. I'm glad to hear it. Good morning. That'll be two hundred and fifty pounds, please. Get stuffed. All <laughs> oh, right, come on, get dressed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is it, Doctor? I hardly know how to tell you this. What is it? I am happy to tell you that you are pregnant. <laughs> That's impossible. But there's no doubt you are preggers. Oh, you will go down in medical history, and so shall I. You will be famous, and so shall I. Yes, this is the end of the maternity ward as we know it. It's one giant birth for mankind, and mankind will be right behind you. You will be the talk of High Street. I'll be the talk of our street. I'm, I'm not even married. <laughs> What's the trouble? What? What is the trouble? I keep thinking I'm Napoleon. <laughs> no, 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 no. You mean Nelson. No, I am Nelson. I keep thinking I'm Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Doctor. <laughs> myself I can't deceive I know it's only me My hopes, my 
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like uh, to introduce you now <laughs> to one of our own greats, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome on stage. Hello there, how are you? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of our greats, our own Frank Bruno! <laughs> Well, Frank, it's nice to have you once again. Well, thank you very Pretty much. Pardon the expression. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, right. um, right. um, Frank. Yes, Freddie. I'm dying to know this. I'm, I, dying. I'm not actually dying, right. but I'm, I'm really want to know this. Yes. Who is your favourite um, actor? Um, Columbo, Michael Caine, and I always like to be Elvis. Try to imitate Elvis. Mm -hmm. so a darker version, you know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you do actually like um, Columbo. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do like Columbo. Yeah. Well, you, think, you see, the thing is about Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Frank, my wife thinks you're terrific. <laughs> I think you're terrific, and everybody in Great Britain thinks you're terrific, and we want to wish you all the best. Thank but you before you go, friend. also, I think you're like a great friend of mine, Michael Caine. Is yeah, that right? Very much so. Very much so, Freddie. Really. But you know something. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people know this, <laughs> but my dog died of flu. <laughs> it flew under the bus. <laughs> and also, you like Elvis. I love him. Cry for him every night, mate. You cry for him? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, no. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know that, yeah. Frank. For one yeah. second, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I would like to see personally to chew to you. To do Elvis Presley. Shoot to me. Yeah, not shoot you. I was like, shoot to you. Right? Yeah. I was watching because the TJ phoned me up. <laughs> TJ phoned me up and says, yeah. he said, well, yeah, tell him, do it, you know what I mean? Like, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the, rah, 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 rah. So I said, right. So, oh, God. Th this is for uh, uh, TJ watching. TJ, now then, as it happens, guys and girls, we have a <laughs> We have a <laughs> We'd like to do. Uh, Elvis Presley, I'll teach you how to do it. Please do, Freddie. After you. Yeah, I've not, I insist after you, it's your show. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, love, could you bring me stuff on, please? Thank you much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, love. Thank you very much, Sinead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take a bow, love. Take a bow. Excuse me, love. Thank you. Excuse me, love. Take a bow. No, take a bow, please. Take a bow. Take a bow. Take a bow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, love. Ah, dear me. Yes. First and foremost, Frank. Yes. Ready? Could you stoop down a minute? Oh, yes, I could. Because you've got to <laughs> Not too low, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Right. <laughs> now. Yes, ready. The sideburns. Sideburns, not bulls. Sideburns. Burns. Burns, all right. All right. Okay. Yes. I'll take your pants off. <laughs> it's Elvis. No. Elvis wore a kilt. Yeah. Elvis never wore a kilt. In his last film, he wore a kilt. No, he never wore a kilt. He no, did, no. Frank. No. This is the very kilt he wore. Yeah? Yeah. You've got to drop your pants, mate. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to drop his pants? Yeah. I haven't got my suspenders on, though. <laughs> <laughs> right, then. Could you roll your pants up, then, please? What, should I take my jacket off or what? Yeah, if you want. All right, just... Yeah. You... <laughs> please, please. <laughs> 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 I'll, do, I'll do it, Mrs. 
myself. That's my friend, so I'm... Uh, wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> That's wonderful, I Frank. That is fantastic. <laughs> Cheers. That's what you call a, sp a spurn. <laughs> I, 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 I called that a haggis. <laughs> a spurn. I called that a haggis, mate. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, testing, one, two. You've got to right. test mate. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. No, one, two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> no, one, two. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, if you just roll your pants up a bit, Frank, please. Thank you. These are what you call chicken legs, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very nice yes, legs. Thank actually. you very much. <laughs> just one will do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry. No, don't laugh at Elvis, please. No, oh, I'll try not to be serious. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to sing an old Elvis song now, because let's yeah. face it, there's no new ones. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, remember, Elvis used to have the lip and the leg. Lip and leg, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. And he used right. to stand like a, like that, like that. Yeah. So Look. keep your legs. Up. Right. Keep your legs apart. That's right, that's right, OK? You mind the middle leg, mate. <laughs> you can them up. OK? Sorry, like, like that? Like that. Yeah. And, and just give it a bit of that. Make your sperm. Yeah. Yeah, roll it round. Yeah, yeah, get it going. Get it going, Yeah, for TJ, get yeah. it going, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, let's yeah. just give us a, a song. Love me tender, love me true. Never let me go. <laughs> Where I complete and I love you so. Not really. Love me tender, love me true. And all my dreams fulfill <laughs> And I always <laughs> And I always will Thanks for your ladies and gentlemen Our very old friend Bruno Nice one, Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray to a bright lit summer's day when I kiss you? And call you sweetheart Do the chairs in your parlor Seem empty in bed Do you gaze at your dust And picture me there Here's your heart filled with pain Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? I wonder if you're lonesome tonight. You know, someone said there was a stage and each of us must play our part. You read your lines so cleverly, you may never miss a cue. You acted strange and wild, I never know. 
It was then when I You told me to go After a wind, you said I saw Bill and Ben in the bath And Bill said to Ben Flop the pop Flop the pop the pop the pop Ben said if that stinks I'm getting out of here <laughs> Yes I looked into your mother's eyes And I said to her I'd like to stay here She said well stay there And shut the door in my face <laughs> It was that when I, I saw this nun with a washing machine on the hair. I said, what's your name, honey? She said, systematic. <laughs> then I thought I was dying. I placed everything on my body. It hurt me when I placed my finger upon it. If I touched my leg, it hurt me so much. If I pressed my ribs, ah, it hurt me. It pressed my head. Oh, it hurt me. I said to the doctor, Doctor, I'm dying, help me. He said, You, pr you broke your finger. <laughs> Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome too? indeed it gives me great pleasure now to introduce you uh, to uh, a legend yes <laughs> it's not just you banks no it's not him <laughs> just you banks at all <laughs> um <laughs> another legend ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together and welcome on stage a great pal of mine and a legend mr ian both of them, yes. <laughs> oh, well, well, it's nice to see you without the white on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of white. Yeah, there's, there's a few questions here that I would like to ask you about cricket because I don't understand the game one little bit and. We'll get on very well. <laughs> you could be a selector. Cricket terms, I mean, that there's a lot of uh, controversy at the moment about Inram Khan uh, picking his balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it for him. <laughs> No, I, I, I meant, um, could, could you bring the, the stuff on, please? Thank you. I've got some, um... <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Pardon? What's that? A finger. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, have you ever got the finger? Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, but what's the finger for? You should tell us you've got to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you, yeah. It doesn't mean you've no, got to no, go to no, the. No, no. The, the, <laughs> um, it means you go back to the pavilion. I believe you've got a massive helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, yes. 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 Um, yeah. Actually, that wouldn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why they call you beefy. Really? Now, <laughs> yeah. oh, I see, yes. Yeah. R right, um, what is this for? That's to protect your uh, jaw, mouth, teeth. And what else? Tongue. Tongue. Nose. Nose, yeah. I haven't done much good for you, has it? No. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, um, I took it up a bit late wearing it. These, um, 
Yeah. Oh, definitely, last tour. Sorry. Yeah, last tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, the wife would be proud of that. <laughs> Now, you have, um, do you play with, um, do, do you have, um, your balls in your hand? <laughs> Why do you polish your balls when you actually, um... Well, you polish it to keep it one side shiny. How would you polish it? Well, you sort of, if you hold that one, Fred, mm -hmm. you sort of wet it. Yeah. And then you, not, you, you don't peel it. All right. Yeah. You wet it and mm -hmm. then you shine it, which is quite nice on a warm, cool evening. Shine yeah. it, hold it, and the shiny side makes it swing. That's the theory. So your ball swing when you yep, shine ball it? Yeah, swing. <laughs> it's to make your ball swing more. Really? Hmm. Now... Now, these things... These... What's the... <laughs> is that... I saw Derek wearing that just now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, these things, these are for protection. For protection on the kneecap? No, no, no. <laughs> it's protect the old meat and two veg. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get but what these you mean. things are good, but the only problem with them is, occasionally... Mm. Yes? And I've seen yes. this, on impact, mm, mm, they, mm. because it's tight and light, it's plastic, mm. they split. Do they? Yeah. So but then they close tight. Yeah. I've actually seen grown men cry. <laughs> yeah. So have I. <laughs> a few times. And uh, have you got any stories about these things? Well, I saw... I don't think everyone remembers Brian Close. And I was lucky uh, enough to start my career with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw Brian get hit. And uh, it split. And it closed tight. And Close is the hardest and toughest man I've ever seen in sport, let me tell you. <laughs> but to walk in the dressing room and see him stood there with his trousers down, two blokes kneeling in front of him trying to free it, was quite an experience. <laughs> that was quite an experience. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is a googly? A googly? Mm -hmm. It comes out the back of the hand. Does it? I'll just try that. <laughs> Um, yeah, like that. Like what? Like that. Just like that. Like that. <laughs> like that. And what's a disguised googly? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I was about a big round of applause for my guest this evening, Mr. Ian Botham. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Ian. Thank you. I love how your eyes close Whenever I kiss you And when I'm away from you I love how you miss me I love the way you always treat me Tenderly But darling, most of all I love how you I love how your heart beats whenever I hold you. I love how you think of me without being told to. I love the way your touch is almost heavenly. But darling, most of all, I love how you love me. Yes. While I was walking down, as I was driving down, I should say. <laughs> yes. As I was driving down the motorway at three o'clock in the morning, not a dog on the road.
I was doing 160 miles an hour. 160. And this policeman caught me. He was on a horse. He spoke like Max Wall. He said, Is this your car? I said, yeah. He said, step outside your vehicle and follow me behind your vehicle in an orderly fashion, please. I said, what? He says, follow me in an orderly fashion behind your vehicle, please. I went behind the vehicle. I said, what's your problem, officer? He said, problem? I said, what's your problem? He said, don't laugh at me. He said, you've got no back light. <laughs> I went, oh no. Oh no, officer. Oh no. Oh, officer, no. He said, it's okay, son, it's only a back light. I said, where's my caravan gone? <laughs> Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? <laughs> Mr. Jones? <laughs> Mr. Jones? <laughs> hey! Deep down! Come on! Hey! Mr. Jones! <laughs> Mr. Jones! I don't know, I haven't been in the ring yet. That was one hell of a fight you had with Kid Maloney. Yeah, sure was. And then you travelled 3,000 miles to fight Kid Johnson. That's right. So tell me, what plans have you got for the future if you win this next fight with Kid Hansen? I'm gonna fight grown-ups. <laughs> Right, I'm a good clean fight, with no gouging, 
no pinching, no poking, no guns, no knives, no nothing, right? A good, clean fight. lost? All of them. <laughs> Do you ever worry about that long walk back to the dressing room? No, I always get carried back. An outcast from society. A recluse with no family, no friends, and no woman to share his life. <laughs> Frederick, pruning shears. This then has been a day in the life of Frederick Pruning Shears. A man that is different, a difference he has accepted and bravely come to terms with. Tiptoed from my room every night Just to sprinkle stardust into whisper 
go to sleep, everything's all right. I close my eyes and I drift away into a magic dream. I softly say a silent prayer like dreamers do. Then I go to sleep again, sweet dreams of you. How lovely to see you again. Mm, nice to see you too. And this is? This is my assistant. Of course. No, oh, Mr. Gemmel, I, I love your pictures so very much. Tell me, will they appreciate in value after you're dead? Uh, so the experts have told me. Yes, they will appreciate in value. Mm. In that case, sir, uh, I'll take the lot. Mr. Gemmel. Congratulations on selling all your paintings. But why are you so miserable? She's my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Miss 
me cause I hope and pray the day will come when you belong to me then I'm going to prove to you how true my love can be I said there'll never be anyone else but you for me never ever be just couldn't be anyone else but you never ever be just couldn't be anyone else but you never ever be just couldn't be anyone else but you Yes, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much indeed. Is everything okay with you, madam? Mm, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Is the bread okay? Oh, yes, very good bread. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you. The wine? Wine okay? Um, mm, lovely wine. She's down her throat, on her throat. <laughs> and um, uh, is the flower arrangement okay? Flower arrangement nice? Well, I hadn't really noticed, but yes, yes, they're fine. The tablecloth okay, sir? Uh, yes, everything is perfect. Please, leave us alone. We strive for perfection in this hotel, sir, uh, yes. Waiter, waiter. <laughs> hey, you know your mate who lost his ear when the sleep fell off that roof? Yeah. Well, I found it. <laughs> That's not his ear. His ear's got a pencil behind it. Country boy called Shorty in a city boy named Dan. At the proof who could run the fastest to win Miss Lucy's hand. That Dan had all the money and he also had the looks. But Shorty must have had something for that can't be found in books. And I've got a cross, Shorty, Shorty, got a cross. That's what Miss Lucy said. I got a cross, Shorty, Shorty, got a cross. Any requests for impressions, now is it time to shout them out. And who else? Yes, come on, keep shouting. Gene Pitney it is. Thank you, Ollie. Dearest, darling, I have to write to say that I won't be home. Anymore, cause something happened to me while I was driving home, and it's not the same anymore. Cause I was only 24 hours and dozen, only one day away from your heart. Imagine Johnny Cash singing this song. I think he's singing like this. I keep this close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep my pants up with a piece of twine. Please say you're fine. And pull the twine. Little Billy, there we go. Imagine Max Wall singing a song. I think he'd sing it like this. <laughs> now a country boy called Shorty and a city boy called Dan had to prove he could run the fastest to win Miss Lucy's hand. Now Dan had all the money, and he also had the looks. But Shorty must have had something, boy, that can't be found in books. Oh, well, I cut a 
across shorty, shorty, what a clock. And that's what this loser said. I got across shorty, shorty, what a clock. It's you I want to win. It's you I want to win. The table is set, but something is missing, it's you. And a tear fills my eyes after thinking I fix things for two. After dinner, the kids will go on to sleep in the room. I'll kiss them goodnight and begin my long night without you. All through the day, my mind just won't leave me alone. I call your name several times, and once I try to call you on the phone. And it hurts so inside every time I realize you are gone. I keep asking myself, oh, why did you leave me alone? As I walk in the church where we promised to love and obey, It just don't seem the same as it did on our wedding day. I can't see the candles or the flowers for the tears in my eyes. And I wish I could die. As I lean over to kiss you goodbye The table is set But something is missing It's you As I lie down tonight There'll be someone that's missing it's you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Wish you a good night. God bless. Thank you so much. How would you like to be remembered by people? As a comedian, as a an entertainer, as a nice person, as what, what would you like people to think of you? The great pretender.
Still around